away from that, Canadian High Commissioner uh, to Ghana, Her Excellency Heather Cameron, is confident her country, though not famous for football, will put up a great showpiece for the 2026 FIFA World Cup Finals. Now, Canada is part of the United uh, bid, which comprises uh, the United States of America and also Mexico for the tournament, uh, which uh, will be expanded and it will be 48 teams. Now, Mrs. Heather Cameron believes Canada is ready. Well, of course, we are known for hockey and our other winter sports. Uh, we're a northern country in winter, uh, and the cold is a really strong part of our, uh, of our identity. Uh, but Canada's changing, and soccer, as we call it, or football, as you call it, uh, is now the fastest growing participatory sport in Canada. And we have three Canadian teams in the Major League Soccer yeah. uh, League. Um, in Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. Uh, so I think it's actually going to be an opportunity to show uh, a, a hidden side of Canada, one that uh, uh, enjoys uh, football, uh, perhaps not quite with the same passion as uh, Ghanaians or, or others on the continent, uh, but definitely um, a sport that we're uh, learning to love more and more. Mm. And I think the World Cup in Canada will be uh, catalytic. You, know, you, you mm. talked about um, uh, you, the three teams, and it's good to point out that, you know, Toronto, you know, managed to win the MLS. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> that, that means a lot um, for, for Canada. Mm -hmm. But and, we'll and let me just say, too, yeah. like our women's national team yeah. has won the bronze Olympic medal Absolutely. Uh, in both 2012 and 2016. So uh, women's soccer is uh, amongst the best in the world. And um, I'm sure that the men's soccer isn't uh, too far behind. Absolutely. Uh, so the question is, will the populace, will the citizens embrace football? Or do you've chalked some decent successes with the MLS and also with the Canadian, you know, women team. Mm -hmm. Are we going to get the whole of Canada embrace football come 2026? Oh, I think so. Mm. Yeah. Uh, just look what happened with the Women's World Cup. We had uh, games in six different cities right across the country mm. and uh, great turnout, uh, well over a uh, uh, million three spectators uh, for that term tournament. And I think that was record-breaking for the Women's World Cup. And Canadians loved having all of these teams there, and they showed up at practices and so forth. So I'm sure by 2026, the enthusiasm is just going to mount uh, more and more. And uh, with so many more teams participating in the World Cup as well, um, there's going to be lots of, uh, lots of interest and uh, lots of opportunities for Canadians to engage uh, with football. We were talking about visitors going into Canada and the rest and how football will be used as a tool. You know, but the last World Cup, which saw almost everybody follow, Russia produced more than football. You know, in your view, how do you think football is changing the narrative now? Is Canada using the 2026 World Cup as a means to change something, if I can put it that way? Um, well, I think two, two things. One, just Canada, we host many international sporting events. Okay. Uh, the most recent and big one, Women's World Cup. Uh, before that, the Winter Olympics okay. in Vancouver and Whistler. Um, and we always uh, use those as an opportunity to communicate to the world who we are, uh, 